Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today the road brings me to Macby, South Carolina, and I am here at Blizzard Branch Milling and Syrup Company. And we're gonna take a look around and learn a little bit about making syrup and grinding grits. But right after this station, identification. Back a long time ago, the way it would work would be that they would feed the sugar cane into the machine right through here. And as a mule would be hooked up down on the end of this pole, and it would drive it around in a circle and the syrup would come out here. Now because it's the summer and it's too hot to make syrup, they do that in November. We will be back to watch them actually make that. So this is a one cylinder hit and miss engine that powers this whole thing. 1897. I took 1898. Yeah. 30. So that meal's 1897. That is really old. Right, yeah. And we put the, the stalk, put the in, stalk there. in there and it mashes the juice out and the juice runs into the funnel yeah. and goes down as the other three presses as well and runs underground. Let's see where it goes. The PVC pipe comes out of those presses and runs underground and it's running downhill. They're using gravity to where it goes. That juice, it runs out over there. And what does it run into barrels? Yeah, put the barrel up under that pipe though. Uh-huh, and then it goes from there, it goes back up to the cookhouse. And juice, because yeah. it's got a lot of water content in it. Yeah, and the purpose it. of cooking it off is to get that water out of it. Yeah. But it's put in the barrels here, and then they take a fort lift to take it up to the cookhouse. So how many gallons is this? I think it's 80 yet there. Yeah, 80 gallons. Cook it, yeah. cook it, fill it, slam full, and, and keep cooking. Mm -hmm. and stir, it, and you take those screens, mm -hmm. like right there, that screen, and you right. shim it off. Yeah, right there, shim it off. So it cooks all the moisture out of the now, juice the from the cane, yeah. and that's what makes syrup. Yeah. yeah. So how much syrup will you make a day? Uh, I say it takes you about four to five hours to cook it. So mm -hmm. you'll make about 10 gallons a day. Wow. Now this is in the house where they would actually boil the sugar cane to be turned into syrup. It's a brick gas fired cooker. This is a real working windmill of course, there's no wind today, and that thing would turn and churn the pump. Now, they also grind corn here to make grits and cornmeal. So, this motor would be tied by belt, and there's the belt to this grist mill, and would turn the stone that is in here. And there's an old worn out stone. You know what that is. Right, that stone would be inside of the mill in there. It would flow out and go through the sifter, which is here. And I happen to know that they just make a lot of grits. So, is this a working one? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, you got this. He, yeah. th he thought that lid there was too, that hole was too small, and uh -huh. I got the measurements off a of commode lid itself. Yeah. And built that. Where's Sears catalog at? How <laughs> <laughs> use corn cobs. Yeah. Okay, okay there's there. the grain bin, and you can actually see, but this particular one here has a clear plexiglass cover. You can see the corn in it. Slide this lever here up. Right, and it, corn goes, it goes out. Yeah, the corn goes going down in it then. 
It goes through the core. And I'm going to show you this over here. It's pretty cool. As I said, corn leaves these bins and goes up that chute to overhead and then drops into that hopper. They just keep it stacked there. Uh huh. All right, when it gets to 58 pounds and it, you hit pull his lever down, hit, hit the, uh, so you pull that lever down and get it going. And then when it fills that sack up, you hit that and it falls on this. <laughs> Uh-huh. So it it right there. Yeah. And that hopper weighs weighs it out to 58 pounds. Mm -hmm. Drops it on the conveyor yeah. and right. goes through the sewing machine. And we can do how many bags an hour? I do 20. It take me uh, 22 minutes to do 30 bags. That's just one man doing it by himself. That's getting it. Oh, a sack holder. Yeah, that, that thing's over me or you. Okay. Cool, so nice. it would hold them out for the sack up for you yeah, to put the grits hold, and hold you corn meal in. And get your 58 pound and go with it. All right. So we're doing 56 and he, he got that, that set up right there now. Well, that's on the grits, now the 50. Yeah. See, this is called dry a dryer. Yeah. So you put the corn in that and dry it. Yeah, you dry it. This aerates it. Yeah. Put the corn in, fill it up, and go to drying. And all this lets down. That's, that's what you dump the corn in. It goes in there through there. Mm-hmm. Yes, you should tow it around. When you get done drying, tote it around and put it on that, on that flat there. Uh -huh. It goes out that side down. I got truck. you. So this is basically, it's hard to tell on camera, but that's like a big screen wire. Yeah. Mr. Cato, he's been farming for a very long time. And he mainly grows corn and sugar cane here. There's Blizzard Branch. Syrup and Milling Company. He also has a very good collection of some old antique farm machinery with some neat old signs. Here are some portable engines that's known popular. They're popularly known as hit and miss engines. And if you've ever heard one run, then you would know why it's called a hit and miss. Because it just, just goes poof, poof. And these would have been pulled by horse or mule or perhaps uh, this setup looks a lot more, more like a tractor. And this is actually an oil well pump. The oil well itself would be this pipe in the ground driven by this engine counterweight at the bottom and would pull up and down and pump the oil out of the ground. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our trip to the Blizzard Branch Milling and Syrup Company. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to tell your family and friends. And if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so right there. Or it could be there. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. And until next time, y'all have a good day.